I'm really sorry, but <laughs> that's how the Sword Soul deck works. What's up, guys? It's TZ here, back with another Master Duel video. And today, I decided to treat myself with a Sword Soul deck because why not? Everyone is, everyone else is playing Sword Souls, and I should not stay far behind. But this is our first turn, and we are already looking good. We're gonna summon a uh, Sword Soul Moe. We're gonna use its effect and we're going to show him the source soul strategist so we can summon the token right here and then we're going for the source soul grandmaster everything is looking good up until right now and if we can use grandmaster's effect and source soul of Moe's effect in the graveyard we're we're surely gonna win this game at least I think so um we're gonna take another strategist we don't have any special summons right now so we're just gonna take this one we already have three more so soul cards in our hand we're gonna discard that worm monster Summon a token and then we're gonna go for the Supreme Sovereign. And we're gonna use Sword Soul Strategy's effect in the graveyard. We're gonna set the Sword Soul Blackout and we're gonna end the turn. We really have nothing else to do right now. now let's let's just hope he doesn't have any Kaju monsters. In his hand I mean there's there's only that way that he can get rid of my sword soul monsters especially Supremes of Rain because uh, nothing can destroy this filly as monster and also this can be destroyed by any higher attack damage cards of course but I don't see that happening right now because we already have one negate and we also can banish and we already have uh, ash blossom in our hand so i think we can protect ourselves unless there's a gaju monster in his hand so he's using the monster reborn okay that i'm i'm, I'm not gonna judge him but i think that was a kind of a foolish decision using the monster reborn on my card okay there's the raigeki i mean better use it before it gets obliterated um we're gonna just banish this one and we're gonna negate source of movie because we don't want to negate our supreme sovereign we have no other option right here and we're gonna use the effect of so, so Supreme Sovereign now, we're gonna banish one card from the graveyard and we're gonna keep it on the field. And now the banishment of that card triggered So, so Supreme Sovereign's effect and we're gonna banish this card here and a card from the graveyard as well. I mean there's no point in banishing this So, so of Movie because it's already have low attack damage we can get him anytime we want and I don't know what that spell card was the spell cards are always scary so I just had to get rid of that forbidden droplet here mm, I guess there's no use of this so we're just gonna summon destiny hero denier yeah sure why not and we're gonna use its effect we're gonna take Destiny Hero Desher on the top of deck and now we really can special summon so we're just gonna take the Soul Soul of Moe by attacking it with the Soul Soul Supreme Severin deal some damage and and now we're just gonna end the turn and let's hope it summons one or two monsters that we can take using the social blackout I mean it's, it's pretty much 
in our favor the game yeah he's just setting a card and he, he ended his turn he has nothing else to do I mean he has one more card on his hand I'm I don't blame him we're gonna use the social blackout use supreme sovereign's effect so it won't get destroyed by the effect of social blackout we're gonna destroy two spell cards from his spell zone and since the card was banished it will trigger the other effect of social supreme sovereign there we can banish one card from the graveyard and one from the field so we just banished his last monster my man took the banishment really hard and just he just quit uh, this hand is probably the worst hand that anyone in the history of social decks could ever pull but we're gonna rock it anyway because I mean social decks are strong and we're not we don't want to win very easily we want the hard level and that is the way we can feel good about our victory so we already summoned a sword soul of Moe so we're gonna go for the sword soul grandmaster we're gonna place it here and we're gonna use its effect and as well as soul soul of Moe's effect in the graveyard pretty much the same I mean it doesn't really matter which card I play first and whatever I have in my hand I have to aim for the same synchro summons and that is the way social deck works and yeah there's uh, there's options for the late game plays like using the berserker of Tenny, um, Baxia and the other cards but yeah but I mean the starting has always had to be the same and this is why I don't play social decks as much I should play. There's the social system sovereign. I mean, we could go for the barrel deflower, but I, I feel pretty much comfortable. I mean, I, I feel much more safer if I have the social system sovereign on the field because uh, Baron can negate only once. But Soto Supreme can activate its effect until we have cards left in the graveyard. So it seems uh, pretty much much more reliable to me than the Baron D Floor. And this is why I play Supreme Sovereign over. I mean, I choose Supreme Sovereign over Baron D Floor. Performable Popper Up. Performable Popper Up. So what 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 it does is send up to 3 cards from your hand to the graveyard draw that many cards then you can spell summon up to that many monsters from your hand with different names that are performable monsters mentioned ok so he's just going to do some bullshittery and we're gonna stop that using the ash blossom in our hand we're not gonna allow him to discard cards or draw cards because that will not end well for us couple phase I should just use one max because we have two and if he is going to special summon I really don't want to miss any opportunity to draw a card so cup of phase holy shit we won the toss so we're gonna draw two cards from our deck and <laughs> I mean this 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 is not going too well for Mr. Utopic Cook because everything is he doing gets negated or it's working on our favor. Summoner Monk. I know this card very well. I have summoned the summoner like <laughs> a tons of time when I was playing with the Utopia deck. I mean uh the forbidden one deck sorry i i messed up with his name i'm looking at his name uh, finally okay there there's the utopia i mean whatever he has done he lived up to his name 
Mr. Itopiafu. I have nothing but respect for you. You managed to summon the Utopia, but sadly it's going to get negated. And m more than that, it's going to be banished right now. I'm really sorry, but <laughs> that's how the Soul Soul deck works. So we're gonna banish the Utopia and other spell. Okay, never mind. With this victory, I'm just gonna call it a day. There should be more videos on your screen right now. Feel free to click on any of them and watch any of them. I'll catch you tomorrow again. Peace.